Topic 11 is integration by parts. Two different kinds of problems you have to worry about. So the first one we're going to look at is the integral of x cubed ln of x dx. Now if you see ln in the problem, you cannot use tabular. So you can make a little sad face if you want. Okay, so if you see ln, let u equal ln of x. dv is equal to x cubed. Take the derivative of ln, you get 1 over x. Antiderivative of x cubed, you get x to the fourth over 4. Then remember, the formula is uv minus the integral of v to u. So uv minus the integral of v to u. I have x to the fourth over 4 minus, when I do, 1 over x times x to the fourth over 4, I can cancel one of the x's, making it x cubed over 4. Do the antiderivative of x cubed over 4. You get x to the fourth, oops, the same thing again, sorry. You get x to the fourth over 16, and then don't forget to do your plus c. Okay, so now on this one with x squared cosine x, this one we can use tabular on because as you take the derivative of x squared, it eventually goes away. So remember with tabular, you're going to put your sine, u, and then dv. Sine goes plus, minus, plus, minus u is x squared, you take its derivatives going down, so it's 2x, 2, then 0. dv is cosine x, antiderivative of cosine is sine, antiderivative of sine is negative cosine, antiderivative of negative cosine is negative sine. Then my answer is going to be x squared times sine minus 2x times negative cosine, so that becomes plus 2x cosine, then plus 2 times negative sine makes it minus 2 sine x and then just plus c. So not too bad. Tabular is pretty easy to use. I know you guys like it. The ln ones are not too bad. You just got to be ready for them and they're pretty easy to work with once you remember the formula is uv minus integral of v to u.